If you watched my last video for vibration reduction and comparing uh, gym fan props to APC props, I decided to uh, take this one step further. Now I still have the APC props, the 10 by 4.7 uh, APC props mounted now. So I wanted to do this video on three different vibration dampening materials as suggested by you know the YouTube community, uh, different forums I've visited and you know just my own personal trial and error. So the first we'll start with are the uh, 3M foam earplugs. You can see these guys right here. See the top is cut off but these are the 3M brand. And this is the, the Moon Gel material. It's really sticky. It's great because you know you just stick it to your frame or whatever um, mount you're using and you can actually wash it with soap to uh, you know bring back the stickiness. And then thirdly, which I haven't actually tried yet, pretty excited, is uh, sorbethane. This is actually a pretty big sheet. Um, it's a 12 by 12 sheet, 1 8 inch thick. So I'll be cutting a couple pieces of those and uh, placing it on the quad. So what I'll do for each medium, if you will, I'll place my iPhone on top, strap it in, hover for 30 seconds. And during that time, I'll have this seismometer app running logging the data and then I'll export it and we'll do a kind of a comparative analysis of the uh, data from these different uh, mediums. So we'll begin our test with the uh, foam air plugs and chart the vibration. We got the foam air plugs in testing. Okay, for the moon gel vibration test, I'm going to use two little strips of moon gel and I'm just going to mount it directly on top of the quad and then uh, we'll give this a 30 second hover test. For the sorbethane, I've made two very similar cuts to the uh, moon gel size now. Uh, the footprint is fairly similar, probably about the same thickness, but you know it's it's definitely not as squishy as as the moon gel. So um, we'll see in a little bit if that's a good or a bad thing. Okay, let's take a look at the uh, vibration data. We have um, the earplug, the foam earplugs, moon gel, and sorbethane. And you know, each of these, the raw data for each axis is in its own sheet. And then we have a chart for each axis. So looking at the x axis chart, you'll notice that both the earplugs and moon gel did significantly better than the sorbethane. The moon gel actually has pretty much the lowest footprint of all three. So we'll go ahead and head over to the y-axis chart. And once again, sorbethane, kind of all over the place. You know, earplugs, relatively decent um, damping. And then moon gel just pretty much you know, knocked it out of the park. It's, it's the lowest footprint once again of all three. So let's take a look at the z-axis. So sorbethane looks like it's, you know, pretty pretty noisy, and you know, I think it's pretty. You could almost declare a tie for both earplugs and moon gel. So all in all, moon gel really seemed to yield the best results um, of all three. Now. Keep in mind the foam earplugs are, you know, really not designed, uh, you know, for 
vibration dampening. They were, they were just a suggestion that actually worked out fairly well, and they're obviously the cheapest of all three solutions. Moon gel, um, relatively inexpensive as well. Uh, you don't get, you know, with each pack you get about four small strips, so just some, something to keep in mind. And then sorbethane, actually I got a, a relatively large sheet of it, and I, you know, wouldn't rule it out just yet. It's actually a 50 durometer, which is a harder um, medium than like the 30 durometer sorbethane, so might tr try a few different things out. But this may come in handy with just mounting a flight controller or you know maybe the uh, FPV transmitter on the quad but I, I doubt I'll be using it for uh, my FPV camera so I'll post a, a link to this public I made this spreadsheet public in the description and feel free to get in here and look at the data and come to your own conclusions I'll also be posting links to each of these products on Amazon.com if you want to check them out. But in the meantime, I think this data is pretty meaningful, so I hope you find it useful, and feel free to post any questions or comments, and um, uh, thanks for watching.